The interceptor mission, by its nature, a difficult one. Consider the desire to protect a single target from attack by long-range bombers. The bombers have the advantage of being able to select the parameters of the mission, attack vector, speed, and altitude. This results in an enormous area from which the attack can originate. Now, in the time it takes for the bombers to cross the distance from first detection to being on their target, the interceptor must be able to start, take off, climb to altitude, maneuver for attack, and then attack the bomber. So, between the F-22 Raptor and the MiG-31, which of these serve as the best interceptor? Well, let's have a look. The F-22 is one of the most expensive fighter aircraft programs ever, and the U.S. Congress made sure the U.S. military couldn't share the technology with anybody else while it was being developed. Because of its unique mix of stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness, as well as devastating long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weaponry, the F-22 is considered the best air domination and one of the best interceptive fighter today. Engine and Performance The aircraft 2 Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 enhanced turbofan engines are closely spaced and have pitch-axis thrust vectoring nozzles with a 20-degree range. Each engine produces 35,000 pounds force of thrust with afterburner. At average combat weight, the F-22's thrust-to-weight ratio is nearly 1 in maximum military power and 1.25 in full afterburner. At military power, maximum speed without external storage is around Mach 1.8 and with afterburners, it is around Mach 2.25 or 2,414 km per hour. The F-22's higher cruise speed and operational altitude than previous fighters improve sensor and weapon system efficiency while also increasing survivability against ground defenses such as surface-to-air missiles. Its engine power, performance, and its capacity to supercruise or fly supersonic without using afterburners allow it to intercept targets that subsonic aircraft would be unable to follow and afterburner-reliant aircraft would be unable to reach. Maneuverability Supermaneuverability is one of the Raptor's numerous tricks thanks to its high thrust-to-weight ratio, large control surfaces, fly-by-wire flight control system, and two-dimensional thrust vectoring abilities. This clip illustrates all of the effort done by the Raptor's massive control surfaces and thrust vectoring nozzles to make the maneuvers possible. These capabilities, when combined, allow the F-22 to function admirably over its vast envelope from flying upwards of 60,000 feet in thin air to rocking and rolling and performing amazing backflips in much thicker air. Avionics Aircraft equipped with advanced avionics can serve as a good interceptor. The F-22 is equipped with many advanced integrated avionics systems. The most important one is the APG-77 radar, which is equipped with a low-observable, active aperture, electronically scanned array that can monitor numerous targets in all weather. The radar has an estimated range of 201 to 241 km against 1 m square target and 400 km or more in narrow beams and changes frequencies more than 1,000 times per second to reduce interception risk. An F-22 pilot noted that he was able to spot targets from beyond 320 miles away while flying the ANAPG 77V1. This is also why the F-22 serves as the best interceptor. This radar provides air-to-ground functionality through synthetic aperture radar mapping and various strike modes. The ALR-94 radar, however, can be used as a passive detection system capable of reaching targets and providing enough information for a radar lock-on. Stealth Aircraft which is stealthy has an advantage of defensive interceptor role against an attacking enemy aircraft. Reduced radio emissions, infrared signature and acoustic signature, as well as reduced visibility to the human eye were all designed into the F-22. When the aircraft maneuvers, it exposes a completely different set of angles and surface area, potentially increasing radar observability. Furthermore, the F-22 stealth contouring and radar absorbent materials are chiefly effective against high-frequency radars, usually found on other aircraft. 
According to the USAF, an F-22 surprised an Iranian F-4 Phantom II that was attempting to intercept an American UAV, despite Iran's assertion of having military VHF radar coverage over the Persian Gulf. Weapons The F-22's primary mission is to, to secure air superiority a condition vital for any successful military operation. The F-22 can carry AIM-120C and two AIM-9 missiles for its primary air-to-air -air duty. The F-22 carries two 1,000-pound class joint direct attack munitions, two AIM-120C and two AIM-9 missiles for air-to-ground missions. The F-22 has four underwing hardpoints, each capable of carrying 5,000 pounds. The latest and most advanced interceptor aircraft in Russian inventory is the MiG-31 Foxhound. Improving on some of the flaws on the preceding MiG-25, the MiG-31 has better low-altitude and low-speed performance in addition to carrying an internal cannon. Its main mission is to intercept cruise missiles and their launch aircraft by reaching missile launch range in the lowest possible time after departing the loiter area. Engines and performance It is powered with a pair of D30 F6 jet engines, each rated at 34,000 pounds force of thrust, enabling a low-altitude top speed of Mach 1.23. Temperature redlined high-altitude speed is Mach 2.83. The thrust-to-drag ratio is sufficient for speeds in excess of Mach 3. The MiG-31 can climb at a rate of 208 meters per second. The ferry and combat ranges of the aircraft are 3,300 km and 720 km, respectively. Radars and Avionics The MiG-31 now is equipped with the upgraded Zaslon M radar. With larger antenna and greater detection range and ability to attack multiple targets, air and ground simultaneously. It has a search range of 400 km for a 19-20 to 20 square meter RCS target and can track 24 targets at once. Relative target speed detection increased from Mach 5 to Mach 6, improving the probability of destroying fast-moving targets. The MiG-31BM is one of only a few aircraft able to intercept and destroy cruise missiles flying at extremely low altitude. Armament in the function of suppression of enemy air defenses, the MiG-31 is equipped to launch the KH-31P and KH-58 anti-radiation missiles. Anti-ship missiles KH-31A up to 6 and air-to-surface missiles X-59 and X-29T up to 3 or X-59M up to 2 units, up to 6 KAB-1500 air bombs or up to 8 KAB-500 with television or laser guidance. The battle load's maximum weight is 9,000 kilograms. It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. This gave the MiG-31 long-range strike capabilities for the first time alongside its primary interceptor role. So, which one of these do you guys think serve as a better interceptor? Well, looking at the interceptor role, MiG-31 is capable of Mach 2.5+, plus, has a huge radar and can carry the armament needed across half of Russia. The huge radar claims to see 400 km with some of the missiles capable of 300 km like the Vimple R-33. The MiG-31 wins in terms of radar and speed, but at what distance it might see a stealth aircraft, well, it's difficult to speculate. However, the F-22, which is due to stealth, the only Western fighter able to get in close enough to sending a non-meteor missile. Because of its vast array of capabilities, the F-22 is the US's greatest conventional deterrent. Anyway, do comment on your thoughts in the comment section below, we'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for viewing in, bye-bye.